Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, reset the window seal on a 2010 Hyundai Electra. Uh, the seal was sticking out. The window somehow got out of track. The lower part of the seal came out of the frame that it was supposed to be in somehow, and it started jamming up the window, stopping the window from closing all the way, stuff like that. Basically, what you need to do is take the door panel off, take the inner framework for the window motor loose, uh, raise the window halfway, and take the screws out of the window so you can remove the glass. Uh, the glass is held in place by two pressure clamps. So when you take those bolts loose with the window halfway up, it'll actually let you lift the window right out of the regulator. Uh, no special clips or anything. Then you reset the gasket seal into the frame, uh, put the window back in place, slide it up and down with your hand put it back in the tracks put it all together I took the handle loose on this one but I don't even think you need to do that uh, to get that moved out of the way enough to remove the glass the tools I used was a 10 millimeter quarter inch ratchet cross tip screwdriver and a little utility screwdriver to open up the door panel clips so I can get the Phillips screws out all right on this vehicle when we roll the window up the window gets on the wrong side of the seal here. So we're going to take the door panel off and try to figure out where down in that track the window got off or replace it. Hopefully it won't flip back out. First thing you do is take the small utility screwdriver, pop this cover up in the handle, pop that cover open right there, and take those two Phillip screws out of there. After those two screws are removed, you can put your hand in the lower panel and jerk it along with this handle and the clips will pop out of the door. So you got several clips along the edge of the door. Then you need to unplug your electrical wires so you can set the door panel aside. So just get the ones that attach the door. You got three here and that should allow you to move the panel away from the car. Yeah, just squeeze the tabs and unplug them. They came loose very easy. Now this vehicle has this whole window regulator door panel assembly that will have to come loose from the door in order to see that window track clearly. We could probably glance in here through this little hole, but we're not going to be able to see much. So I'm going to get a 10 millimeter and take those five or six 10 millimeter bolts loose from around the door move that just a little bit so we can see in there and over here you have a couple of number two Phillips which will take this handle off of that so you can move that around a little bit but I'm gonna take these 10 millimeters off first and I'll take these off second if that doesn't give me enough play we could not get the inner panel loose from the door so we raised the window about halfway so that the window mounting glass mounting uh, bolts are visible and we're going to pull those bolts to try to drop this window down and get that right in the tracks and to get this loose we'll probably have to take this motor loose on these three screws and pop these uh, clips loose that's holding the regulator assembly to this panel but let us uh, take a look down in this door through this upper seal first okay the window is held in the window track by pressure uh, when you take that bolt loose it actually holds the window in place inside those uh, things there one for the front of the window one for the back of the window so what we're going to do is reposition the window 
in here on the seal and it looks like the seal came out of the frame and is floating around so we're going to put this seal back in the frame then we're going to put the window back in place attach it back to the panel assembly with those squeeze clips with the 10 millimeter and then put everything back together and make sure it works properly okay so we put the seal back in the track the whole way down now we're going to lower the window back in and the front of the end goes in first hold the back end and then slide it in the, both of your, your seals properly and then we're going to bolt it to the bottom of the regulator okay, we position the front and the back in the seal then we lowered the window down into the bracket tighten the bracket then we brought the door panel over plugged it in and tested it it appears to be working fine so now I'm going to put this handle back up here which I probably didn't have to take loose at this time and I'm going to put these eight screws around this panel and secure this panel back in then I'm going to plug the door panel back up and snap it back in place. Then this corner piece here, just press it in place and hit it with the palm of your hand to pop it in place. And everything's back together, good as new. Uh, sometimes this handle has these chrome peeling. You may want to cut that stuff away because it can give you a nasty paper cut or find a handle to replace it. I don't know how much they would be at the dealer. Probably no more than $25, $35. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.